Attention Dunwall citizens. The I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. Royal physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
Invited guests only. By request of the local landlord. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. <laughs> that evening in the garden, but she lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their, you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in the building. She expects. No I told her they were trash. Yes, they're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another invitation, please. Rules we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, right this way, sir. Maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on. Once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. But we're going to catch a plague and die way out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Ah, Mr. Bunting. You just had someone here pretending to be you. Welcome. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it to... Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? <laughs> Indeed. I believe so. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. <laughs> it's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. Contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. The 
party's indoors this time. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a warm. Yeah. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, Welcome my cousin to the is a mock heat. Of course I don't mean you, but you are destined, and the boils are off. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Your obsession with the Ooh, scary mask. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the boy- You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. <sighs> Doing all right there. What most people don't remember Indeed. is, the last so. came a half a year before the Empress died, and the plague too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not excuse me. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. Additionally, that he is in red. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. Try Miss White. No, and are you trying to guess which one is which? Are I was you on the guest list? Sneaking upstairs to look for clues. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the I'm not here for conversation. Your house built its fortune. Hold on, I need a cigar. Evening, sir. Guests past this point. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. Okay, move it along. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. You there, move along. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so.
Get wherever you're going. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. Beat it. You shouldn't be here. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. Regent thing. 
designed to keep his good friends safe. You may be the most intriguing man here, and I know the others very well indeed. Unchaperoned? Hmm. You promise to behave yourself. We'll go to the music room. We have an exquisite old harpsichord. Seem interesting? Do you play? I love that mark on the back of your hat. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, more. Who brought him, I wonder? I do hope it wasn't Mrs. Brimsley. Well, here we are. What shall we do with ourselves? Nothing to say? You are an odd one under that mask. Yes. Do you? Tell me. You're very clever. Now tell me yours. I doubt that. You may be the most intriguing man here, and I know the others very well indeed. You seem interesting. Who brought him? I home? love that mark on the I back do of your hand. It wasn't Mrs. Brimsley. could do when it made us an Whom empire. Shall I this is the beginning of a golden age. Do you know they've dug down and found the ruins of another city under this one? Before the overseers, before anything. I bet they thought they were in a golden age too. Excuse me. Do you think the high overseer will come? Would be such a bore. Ooh, scary mask. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, morally.
hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Said he would meet it. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Citizens. The masked criminal is believed to be hiding. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall. Adjacent to Boyle Man, remain off limits pending an on. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple. But it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Hello, love. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. Memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. 
another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Betty comes down for breakfast, though. No. The Lord Regent conducts all his business and takes all his meals in his safety. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. <laughs>
Bet he comes down for breakfast, though. Oh? Bring mosquitoes and bite fur. Thank you. 
damage has been reported. Stay at your post and await further orders from the reporting officer. been reports of disturbances in the tower courtyard. We have men checking on it. Double the guards, triple them! How many times must I tell you? If only everyone would just do what needs to be done. Lord Regent, since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in the safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean... Demonstrate your failings. I need more men. Get around him. I know you're here somewhere. <clears throat> Restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided.
Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions will be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us what toil. What are you doing? And it was I a simple you plan. Your weapon. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician it's continent. Open. as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold, the scent of his blood still fresh in the air. My, how you've changed things. You know, the Lord Regent would have fought harder to protect himself, but the truth is, he knew that he deserved to die. It must have been agony for such a tightly wound man to watch as the plague spiraled out of control as people on the streets went mad and died bleeding from the eyes. Don't worry, I'm not about to tell you that he deserved sympathy. The worst part must have been knowing that it was all his fault. As you hunted down his people one by one, and finally came for him, 
He must have realized that all his planning was for nothing. And that must have been exquisitely terrifying. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. be uneasy to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Attention, Did you kill anybody tonight? Hiram How Burns, many? Once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you skinny piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find Dow, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with pardon. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, You'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares, restock your ammo, and make yourself ready, just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Colwyn, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire.
Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The seven strictures? The litany and the white cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you, after all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tibian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dow. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. They're a mystery. And I can't allow that. <laughs> 